They're coming to get you, Barbara. The Fear Central Radio Show. Warning, our content may include spoilers and is intended for mature audiences. Hey, fellow horror fans, welcome to the Fear Central Radio Show. I am your host, Mike, and joining me this week we have... Tim. Chris. Monica. Heather. Katie. Pablo. And Mike. <laughs> oh. Pablo. 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 That's his handle on everything. Pablo. I'm multicultural. Okay. All righty. Your parents are Paul so Blow. white. Okay. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but we have been absent for a little bit. And uh, just to let y'all know what that is, is because uh, the holiday seasons is a bit crazy. Just a little bit. Yes. Yeah. So just to let y'all know, we will be doing our seasons uh, from January to Halloween. Yes. And, Culminating uh, with our giant Halloween party. Yes. So, if you've wondered where we've been, that's where we've been. Taking care of family and friends. Put the razor and down. We're back. Not yes. killing You're anything. okay. And, right? It's and, good. And we've been surviving and not killing our family. Yes. You know, the holidays can be a little stressful. Yeah, battling, we're all still alive. Battling illness. And yeah. Battling illness. Yeah, it's been, and, you know. It's you been grab that little stool over there. Okay. So, so before we get the shindig started, do you want to tell people a little bit about what to expect in season three? Yes, season three we have some <laughs> dun, dun, dun. new and exciting things coming your way. Like what? Like uh, we're going to have a regular show. What? Until Halloween, then y'all are just yeah, on your own. We're going to be doing some things. This, this uh, You remember we've all done the uh, watch and review, so we're going to continue to bring that back. Aw, uh, do we have to? No, you can stay at work. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, but we're also going to be bringing in where we're actually going to get board games that are horror based <gasps> and play them as one of our shows. Will oh, there this be alcohol? So, oh dear. Um, oh, we dear. should have board games and booze night. Yes, I'm in. We're going to well, do B and B's. I think there's, I think it's assumed when we said we're playing board games that we're going to be inebriated. Yeah, oh, yeah. absolutely. <laughs> I got plenty of room on but the floor. You, you keep that absent at home. <laughs> <laughs> no, you can bring the absence. Yeah, you gotta be, you gotta be cultured. Yes, Pablo says cultured. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, this week we are going to do um, kind of like everybody else has been doing around with their own uh, urine review. But we're not going to do it there. We're way. doing a urine review. A urine review. <laughs> <laughs> wow! I think I, I think I need to leave for that. A urine review on you your. Go check the color. I will not be participating no? in this. No. no. Okay. Wow! It's been a while. It's been a while. <laughs> a year. A year in review. But not okay. like everybody else, we're going to do hours where we talk about our best remembered and our worst remembered films and stuff from, right. from last year. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Where okay. everybody else just talks about all things. And it it yeah. will be expanded a little bit over here on our side from not just movies. We got a couple of games and things on our side. Yes, our we heard end. Katie has a new favorite game. Yes. <laughs> what, is, yes. what is this Toki Doki? It's Doki Doki Literature Club. Oh, Lord. Doki Doki. Yes. I want her to explain it. Starts it starts off like a normal dating sim. Okay. And, but it's not a normal dating sim because all the people are really, really, really screwed up. So oh, oh, I'm like, oh, it yeah. already. Oh, yeah. They made a dating sim about all of us? <laughs> yes. <laughs> wow. You're Monica. <laughs> oh, 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 wait a minute. Oh, oh, <laughs> Okay. Oh, oh, okay. 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 I'm a C. You're a C. Monica with a C. Yeah, you're Were you getting offended there, Monica? I, I was, I was, I'm not sure. <laughs> yeah, that would make sense. Wait, that what, do I, what do I do in said game? <laughs> right. So, so to, to accurately describe it, uh, the game really starts when you reach the first game end. Because, yes. like, it's a normal dating sim, so you're, like, romancing, you know, you've got all these hot girls to talk to, and then you pick Doki your Doki. favorite, and then you at the, and then all of a sudden, one of them starts talking really, really horribly depressed. Yeah. Like, Ooh. not just like, oh, you're sad. It's a, oh, oh my like, I just need you to be happy. I'm not worth That's anything. That's all I need. Like, yeah, like, it's all she keeps saying. And depending on the way really... you're playing, it doesn't matter. You could be playing where you're... 
that's the girl you're interested in, or you could be playing she's just your childhood friend who's watching you get with one of her f- best friends now, and she secretly harbored feelings for you. But whatever happens in the game, she will hang herself. Oh, wow. Every time. Okay. And, and it's really graphic and really gross. Like, oh, wow. <laughs> wow. It's disturbing. So. Okay. But from that point on, the game gives you a trouble, like, the game gives you an error code whenever you start, whenever you find her body. And it tells you that, uh, you know, you know, uh, error code exception, blah blah blah. Check the files at this or whatever. Because there's additional files that go with it that would normally tell you like um, about the people in it. There's like character sheets, and so it tells you about the person. And they also write poetry. It's a literature club, so they're changing poetry the whole time. And so you read their old poems. And as you go through, the meanings change a little bit at a time. Well, the um, main, main thing is whenever Sayori, Sayori is her name... Is the what, best friend. Whenever she hangs herself, you go to the error log that it told you to go look, and there's a little note all in like a, this like what looks like game script. There's like a little note. She's like, she's just causing problems anyway. What It would be easier for everyone if she never existed. Well, here we go. This should work. Then it resets and Sayori doesn't exist anymore. She's like, not part of any of the it. The game is glitched at the opening screen and where she was is just random code. Like pixelated. And, and then the game huh. starts and this she's... This is really screwed up. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh, yeah. I'm just saying, it's a little bit fucked up when you know oh, that. Yeah. And so, like, we chose the bookish, shy, goth girl to get, to be the one we pursue. Oh, and, my God. Um, who, who... Who is... That you find her slicing her arms to oblivion um, at oh, one point. Lovely. Yeah. Massive spoilers for this game, by oh, the way. Oh, yeah. And, it's, and if you play PC games at all and you're okay with this type of material... Go play it. It's free. It, it is, is free. free. You just said yeah. the magic word right there. Free. <laughs> free, man. Uh, it, From what of, I'm saying, you, it's also a... available on Xbox, PlayStation. And... Oh, is it? Oh, cool. God. All right. It, it's worth it, it, man. I mean, I've... Doki Doki Literature Club. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> it... Um, anyway, it starts getting I'm going to really... read an excerpt from the website. Okay, okay. This game is not suitable for children <laughs> or those who are easily disturbed. <laughs> <laughs> yep. what, what, what kills me is that that note that note comes up right before everything goes bright pink and like stars flying everywhere, and you hear "Doki Doki." Look and how it's cute like, they are! Super happy. It's, oh they're so cute. Wow. It's uh-huh. got to be a Japanese game. It is, mm-hmm. of course. Oh, Doki yeah. Doki, happy happy. Yeah, and so you play these mini games that determine which which girl you're going for, and you have to pick the words that you think would appeal most to the girl you're going for. And so, so you're playing seduction, basically. Oh, absolutely. Well, it's a, it's, it's like a it, like da- you're, any you're dating. Trying sim. to seduce yeah. these these screwed up, sim. jacked up girls. What, the, and this differs from real life. How? <laughs> <laughs> what the best thing the best thing the game has to offer, and the reason I actually got it for her, for us to play together. Is it's sort of a parody of the genre too, because oh because you'll you're doing that like the entire game mechanic is you pick words for these poems that you're <laughs> writing because you're like oh this girl's going to be interested in that one of the characters will call you on your bullshit that this is yeah, you're writing like, you're doing this just to impress you're just so trying and to so. impress so and so or whatever like the game just constantly like starts messing with you it's all about getting in your head oh wow and this is so no you did say it was free to play free to purchase or free to get yes. Um, but you can also donate to help them make it better. Uh, if you donate ten dollars or more, you will also get the complete DDLC official soundtrack with twenty-four tracks, including remix, bonus tracks, sketches, and song variants not included in the game. There is an amazing <clears throat> song buried in the ending credits. I will say that it like it when it, when it drops it. Uh, the game like plays with you to the point that it's really creepy. And then it hits hard on drama mm-hmm. right at the last minute. That kind of like makes you feel bad for how you were feeling the entire time. <laughs> okay. uh, yeah. you will also, you'll also get high resolution wallpapers for your desktop and your mobile, and then you will also get co- an, a concept art booklet. Oh, yeah. So if you want to donate, if you like collectible type stuff, okay. that sounds fun. Yeah. Oh, and look at anyways, that logo. Anyways, if, okay. Anyways, yes. Monica is a character in the game, and she's the and, leader of the of the literature club. Oh, you're the we, leader. Don't, yeah, don't go too I'm not going any, anywhere farther, but she is the leader. There is a lot going on 
there's a lot going on with her character, and it's like with the so reason. So you're basically the fucked up. I will say, mm-hmm. well, there Paul is a I... lot going on with me as well. <laughs> yeah, I'm a very complex Paul character I... myself. <laughs> Paul and I did this like a play, essentially like a radio drama. We each read voices, and it was different. Um, don't ever voice Monica like the most annoying cheerleader you've ever heard in your life. <laughs> because it doesn't work. Like, at all. Um, don't be a cheerleader, she was, Monica. She was expecting her to, <laughs> no, she was expecting her to be very one-dimensional. Yeah, I was really expecting to be super one-dimensional, and she's not. And, <laughs> and suddenly it doesn't work anymore, and it's really hard to make it work. So. <laughs> wow. Yep. wow. So then I just had to pretend like it was a fake voice. <laughs> okay. <laughs> right. yeah. So yeah. there we go. The Doki 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 Literature, Literature Club. Club. <laughs> Interesting. Okay. That ought to be fun. Yeah. Um, <laughs> okay. Hey, who's next? <laughs> Want to take all that, tackle that one, there, Monica? <laughs> <laughs> sure, I'll be a leader. <laughs> <laughs> Class leader. <laughs> we're all gonna well, die. Well, <laughs> some of the things that we were gonna talk about tonight, I think, were um, you know some of our favorites and least favorites. Uh, I don't know about you guys, but I watch a lot of Netflix, and oh, yes. um, there's a lot of horror movies and genres that you can look at on Netflix that, you know, you can documentaries or there's all these different things. One of the movies that I found on Netflix that released this year was called Little Evil. I haven't seen that yet. I've been wanting to watch that. It was... It's from the guy that did Tucker and Dale versus Evil, right? I think so. Um, It... The cast, it's its not really like a big name cast or anything. It's just a Netflix series or movie. Um, but I really liked it. The, the synopsis is that in this horror comedy, a recently married man who wants to bond with his stepson begins to fear that the boy is a demon. And it, it had a lot of great funny moments. It, had, it wasn't really like scary horror, mm-hmm. um, but it was just kind of... I don't know. I really like, liked it. Like Shaun of the Dead, Tucker and Dale, kind of funny. It was kind of, yeah, yeah. kind of that kind of humor. Is uh, Adam Scott star in it? Yes. Yeah. Yes, it does have Adam Kate, Scott. Katie just discovered that she loves Adam Scott. Uh, yeah. <laughs> well, it really wasn't like Aww. scary, scary, but it was It was really interesting to watch the dynamics between the stepdad and the son that's supposed to be part demon. Mm. And um, Did he make you doki doki? I, I liked it. <laughs> I Which means happy, happy. By the way, for yes. the no, I watched. Uh, I watched Ghosted. Oh, and I'm, uh, okay, okay. Hey, 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 we haven't seen it, so sh- sh- I'm not saying. I'm just this saying, is, this is a show of spoilers. Like, it's not going to matter. Normally, I like like Craig Robinson is normally the guy that's like, yeah, he made it. No, Adam Scott makes it, which <laughs> is I didn't expect. So yeah, but back yeah, to, I thought back to that. Monica. Little Evil was going to be kind of close to Little um, Good Son back with uh, oh, Macaulay yeah, yeah, Culkin yeah. back in the day. Yeah, well, no, this one was, wasn't I, a series. It's, 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 it's an a, omen parody. Isn't yeah, it? Oh, is it? Yeah, oh, okay, it's, it's okay. really a funny movie. Uh, so they um, don't call him Damien in this one, I'm sure. No, <laughs> no. It's, it's, called, like it's pronounced Damien. You thought it screwed up, A.A. Ron? Right, so, so that was your favorite? That um, was so that was one? one of my favorites. I think that not a lot of people have seen that, you know, yeah. you might want to go out and if you're not into the super horror, horror, right. like gore type films, that's a good one to go um, to look at. And you just want to live on the outskirts of horror. Yeah. 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 If you just want to it's go to dabble. Yeah. The, the horror suburbs. suburbs. <laughs> the horror. Just dip your the toe. Dip your toe into the pool. Now, blood. if you want to look into real horror, uh, you know, I've got to say it. It was probably my favorite movie, horror movie, for this year. Um, yeah. I, growing up, was not into big into the horror scene, and I didn't see a lot of those type of movies. Mm-hmm. So Until we became friends. Until we became friends. <laughs> Mm-hmm. And uh, so for me, I don't think I had seen the, the 80s version until maybe a month before I watched this most yeah. recent release. So okay. for me, it wasn't a big build up right. suspense, you know, oh, I remember the 80s version. I don't know, you know, 90s. Yeah, ni- whatever. <laughs> Whenever it came out, the old version. The 1964 version. <laughs> Whatever it was. Um, but uh, you died. <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> Somebody else start now. <laughs> so what, what 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 did you really like about this last year's it? Um, I don't know. I really didn't have very many expectations going into it. I, okay. I don't. I think I kind of viewed it a little differently than you guys did because I'm fairly new to the horror genre. Yeah. Um, 
so I, I really enjoyed it. I mean, I, I like the graphics. I liked the the story wasn't um, overdone to me because I hadn't really seen have the old read, one so or, many or times. Have you read the book? Or, or read the book. I hadn't yeah. read okay, the book. Okay, so this was like a whole new fresh perspective. Correct. So, yeah. um, and I am I am in my mid-30s, so I very well could have seen the old version. I just Didn't. never we'll did. We'll it to you. Yeah, I, I've seen it now. Oh, okay. I've, yeah, I have well, seen there, it now. There's another one here that, that kind of liked it with Bill Skarsgård. <laughs> we were not referring to pe- where, that. That's my little that demon. Was that Cooper? Because nope. it kind of sounded like Cooper. <laughs> <laughs> our our middle demon. <laughs> yeah. yeah, she actually wanted to go see it a second time, even though it scared the hell out of her the first time. <laughs> and, 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 and this one in that, that movie, one, this one here, he he, he loved it. He loved as well. it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So did my so did my youngest. Yeah. Yeah. Well, the other the other horror newbie of the group that yeah she I guess she, you can't see my smile but yeah. <laughs> she, she's, she's already, like she's already told me on. we're buying it whenever it comes to discs so. yeah we are too I know it's on, I know it's on uh, VOD now I, yeah. I bought it the day it came out yeah she did she texted me <laughs> guess what I got I really would like to see it again like we'll have to watch it to, it's really uh, you know and it's you know for the younger generation for those who didn't see the original when you were growing up it's kind of a fresh take on it, you know, there are some things that aren't in the book and some things that are and y- you just you gain a new perspective and it mm-hmm. makes you want to Would see you the like older to one. So, yeah, absolutely. And then it makes you, you know, once you watch the first one, or the, the new one, I'm sorry, that came out and it makes you want to watch the older version of the TV, or the movie. And then it definitely, you know, if you're an avid fan, will make you want to read the right. book. I was going to say, it kind of made me want to do like Heather did. She wouldn't have got the book or the audio book afterwards. Yeah, I did. And did and it was like, okay, what from the 90s version and the 27, 2017 version were in the book? Yeah, and, and yeah. even our, our youngest demon, she was like pointing out stuff. She's like, oh my God, that wasn't in the original. Oh no, no. Why yeah, are and, you and doing that? And just to that? let you know, she's, she's 14. She's 14. Yeah, minus minus so. 12 is yeah. he. You want to tell? You want to talk? The original, it it was mainly, like, this is a spoiler if you haven't watched the original it and the new one. The original it is all about them being their older selves and reflect, referring back to when they were kids. And it tells you that, it, well, it shows you that once you get farther into the movie, because it, it goes back, it goes forward in time to show what they, what they look like when they're older. And then... What about the, the new one? The new one's all about just the kids. And there's no referring back to when they were older. Yeah, it's a straight timeline. Yeah. yeah. Now, was that the way it was in the book? Uh, or no. was it the flashback style? Um, what was it how, it was did, a, how did King it was put mixed. it? It was mixed. It was it mixed? Yeah. Okay. It was mixed. Hmm. But I think, I think having a whole movie for just when they were kids was a good thing. I mean, because... The original It series, miniseries, left a whole lot out. And I mean a whole lot out. It should have been way longer than it was. I'm sure. It was supposed to be at least three parts originally. Yeah, so. and it was it was not nearly long enough because it left a ton out. Yeah, I thought the it was new supposed one, to be six or eight hours or the something. The new but. one left quite a bit out, but it put in things that the original didn't. Mm-hmm. So Right. Yeah. But, uh, and it's sort of like thinking back on it now that now that because I mean we we talked about this one at length, but uh, uh, have, having some time from it, distance now without now I think uh, think about it without the framing device of the adults like looking back at it, mm-hmm. the whole movie kind of has the coming of age feel like Stand yeah. by Me, yeah. right? Yeah. Which it kind of benefits from, right? Yeah. Right. I think that's what they were trying to go for <laughs> and to try and hook the newer generation into <laughs> Absolutely. it. Absolutely. Uh-huh. So. Yeah, because, like, a lot of kids have a heart. Like, uh, for example, I have two younger sisters. One of them is 19 right now, which is the target audience for most horror movies. It is the younger people. The 19 to the, right. the early 20s. It's right. the reason that so many horror protagonists are teenagers. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So, <laughs> Kendall won't watch a movie that isn't straightforward, have active dialogue, or have something happen every five minutes. She refuses. <laughs> oh, she's... 
serious MTV generation. Oh, oh my! Yeah. So we've never had MTV, but yes. She's, no, she's YouTube generation. She's yeah, cool. oh, that's yeah. even worse. She's yeah. gonna love the Five oh, yeah. Nights at Freddy's movie. Oh, she's a. Uh, <laughs> anyway, so like, <laughs> what this does is it takes the, the okay. So the old one, the '90s one, is much slower. The, it is. The, it is. Yes. It is slow and methodical, and there's. My sister doesn't really, honestly, and I don't understand how I'm related to her, but she, <laughs> <laughs> she loves the milk man. She, not that she loves you or anything. <laughs> I love you very much, but she gets confused with flashbacks. She's like, well, what the hell's going on now? Like, she just honestly cannot keep the timeline. That They're two separate timelines. Right. Like, put the, she, put the phone down, Kendall. Put it oh down. Oh, my gosh. Put the phone down. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, so I can't watch movies with her because it just... Uh, Oculus was horrible to watch with her. Oh, I imagine. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> so what's going on with this? It, this is in her head. What? <laughs> Why are they showing it to us? <laughs> exactly. Oh, my uh, gosh. But yeah. if you really want to know more about uh, what we thought about uh, 2017's It, go back and listen to our full our, episode all mm-hmm. about It. That's yes. right. It's a pretty good one. Uh, it was one a good one. one. Yeah, because we actually did that show right after watching it. Oh, we yes. did. We did. Oh, my God. That what? was a fun day. Was yeah. so yeah. awesome. Yes, it was. So, it. what? What was the title of that episode? It. Watch and review it. Watch and review it. Yeah, it was mm-hmm. watch and review it. I believe. What? <laughs> what was it? It. it? <laughs> what? That title of the episode. Oh, okay. it. <laughs> it's on first. I was like, that's she where was Tim really was going with that. that. No, that's where Tim was going with that. Nobody bought. <laughs> nobody <laughs> bit and sent me. Yeah, no. <laughs> Nobody bit you? <laughs> yeah, no. Damn it. So you're, That's you're not what you told me the other day. <gasps> it just like, what's the title of that movie? Are we no, fighting people now? It's Monica. It? Watch <laughs> out. <laughs> what you call it? You know, yeah. the candy bar. What you call it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Chris. Uh-oh. What's a horror movie that you liked last year? Mm. <laughs> I liked... That experiment one that we watched. What was it? The, the Belko Belko experiment. Okay, that one I liked because it portrayed a really good part of. Dur- during our break, we wa- we did sit down and watch that together. It was we amazing. Did. Okay, so that one and it's tied between that and there's three of them actually. That one, Annabelle Creation, and Alien Covenant. Are you? Are you going to be talking about Annabelle Creation? Yes. Okay. okay. So, <laughs> like all the good Pick one. Okay, Belco Experiment. I'm sorry, I did not like that okay. movie. Okay, I'll take it. I'll 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 take that one as my top because I got a feeling he's going to do Alien. So this experiment basically is a spoiler if you haven't watched it. It's set in uh, Mexico. South, uh, America. South, America. South America. South America. Yeah. Yeah. And, um, sorry, South it's America, okay. not Mexico. It's all over the world. Um, it's but true, but. It, it's really good because it does touch on what would happen if you work for this big corporation and all of a sudden it just slammed down and you're forced to kill your co-workers to survive. <laughs> You know, that or something inside your head, head explodes. explodes. I mean, it, what would you do? Would you kill everybody to get home to your loved ones? Would you say screw it and try and save everybody? It, you know, it the, just puts point on humanity that we're not in control of our surroundings. I, w- I was a little at odds with watching the movie, but I had. Uh, but when we started watching it, I liked that it actually did have some very sadistic humor oh, oh yeah because so. because of the whole movie would have fallen down really really hard if it had played it seriously the oh, entire yeah. time oh yeah it would have been too hokey um but, but james I, gunn wrote it i yeah. love the ending part even better i mean that was just the you know when they flick the switch and they all die i, I was just like ah! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. i was like yes but I mean, it shows a lot of you know. You had the military guys that had the background in it that were like, "Oh no, we need the guns. We need the guns for our protection." And then they were the ones executing everybody, right? You know. And then you have the one uh, chick that just started there, and she was just she took the smart route. She tried to hide, and well, she ended up dying anyways. But you know, never try and take the elevator when people are going <laughs> batshit crazy because that's the first place they're going to look. Where? In the elevator. It. <laughs> it? <laughs> what? It is so lost. Twice? I, I no. loved it. I mean, and it does expand. I mean, they could make a second and a third one if they think about it because of the way it ended. Yeah. Um, yeah. It, it just, it voiced a lot of stuff. But I did love some of the kills in there. The kills were excellent. Uh, I loved the fact when they, <laughs> of course, you know, they had the epic one where 
have the paper slicer and she just connects it. Of course, it's been in a couple of horror movies that we've seen over it's the years. A lot mm-hmm. of horror yeah. movies. The paper so, cutter. Um, the, <laughs> Have you, have you ever been? worked with one of those things? They yeah, are crazy. They're dangerous. They're dangerous. Yes, they're they're dangerous. Dangerous. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> um, right. But they make great machetes, so buy yeah. yeah. one. There was um, enough heft to them. Like, yeah, they do. Dead. They got some weight. Yeah. Um, great for zombie killing, but... <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> it was pretty good. There were some nice uh, little surprise cast members all the way oh, through. Oh, yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know? what, is, what is the name of Dr. Cox from Scrubs? I always forget his name. But he made an excellent John C. Riley? creepy no, guy. John C. Yeah. McGinley. Yeah. McGinley. McGinley. Yes. Yeah. yeah. He's in it. There's a couple of other big names in it. Um, the, the cast just lend it really well, especially the fact of, you know the inner office dynamics you always have that one creepy guy the really popular guy the couple that's trying to hide from Peter everything <laughs> the potheads you know the potheads another think about it that he was that was that was basically Jim from the office in pretty the much yeah. 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 yeah yeah only yeah. with special forces experience yeah so, yeah. so I mean it, it really plays into the dynamics of course you have he the big guy that plays the, the the useless Guard in the front of the office, you know, the yeah. security guard. And he was nice and enough. Didn't do much, but that was the point. He was useless. <laughs> um, he made me kind of think of the guy from the best friend from uh, Get Out. I just waited for him to be like, I told y'all not to go in that no, building. You know who he reminds me of? <laughs> he's, okay, he saved the day at the end of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The we'll, guy, we'll get to that movie. The though. security yeah. guard reminded me <laughs> from. Um, Employee of the month. Do you guys remember that one? Yeah. The big guy that played the security guard. A fat security guard. Yeah. <laughs> and he was all like, everybody was like, you know, every all the higher ups hated him and were like, you're useless and all this other stuff. It was B train or something like that. And mm-hmm. like, everybody's like, do they name you because you're so slow or something like that? And you know, at the end of the day, he was like. He just body slams a guy, and he's like, "That's why they call me that." <laughs> <You know? laughs> but uh, it, and he did have some moments, but for the most part, he was just he was the guy with the gun that stood behind a desk and was useless. You know, you'd walk yeah. by him every day. He ended up dying. You know, and the least the the one guy that you thought would die several times over in the movie was mm-hmm. the one that survived. Of course, mm-hmm. you know, the final girl or man, so to speak. Yeah. But I mean, it was a good take on humanity and everything. Who was the girlfriend in that one? I'm trying to remember. The girlfriend? Yeah. The one that ended up dying in the locker or whatever. Yeah, it was somebody in Belco experiment. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Her name? Yeah. Fast fingers. Fast fingers. Oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> We come from a break cut. and she's off her dick. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But they I don't call know. her I regular feel, speed fingers yeah, now. But like, I, I definitely <laughs> recognized her from something else. So. I did that the other uh, last night because I watched uh, Beyond Skyline. I was Adria like, see her. Ar- Aronia? Aronis? Aronis? My Sharona. <laughs> <laughs> Does it have any of the movies she was in? Because I'll know her by her. Character. True Detective. She was in Pacific Rim. Ah, that's it. It's True Detective. Oh, Pacific Rim? Mm-hmm. Yeah. She's in the new one. Oh, in the new one. Mm-hmm. Okay, I can't wait for that movie. Yeah. See how I they do new good. mechs. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. I don't know. That movie, to me, it just, it was, for being so gore-heavy, I guess, mm-hmm. It was so slow. Like, I just felt like that movie was never going to stop. Like, I don't know. I just, I guess it's... They could have made it the dialogue a little bit more punchier, a little bit more, you know... I mean, I get yeah, the I whole office it. dynamic yes. and all of that, but I felt kind of like I had been watching Treevenge again. You know, like I just was <laughs> like, oh my God. Okay. By pull, the end of it. Pull for our audience. Pull for the audience. You're finished done with a job interview, and they say, great, you're hired. We'd love to have you on the team. Go down the hall. Go into this room for your in- implant. No. 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 I decline this offer, and no. I'm moving across the country now. <laughs> <laughs> Could you please shred my resume? Yes. I wouldn't have done that even if I had not seen that movie. <laughs> please give me back my resume so I can take the Sharpie to the address. <laughs> yes. Well, I... I haven't accepted the job. I haven't signed a non-disclosure agreement, so I'm going to go to Twitter and put at this CNN. <laughs> <laughs> I would be calling my husband, going, "Honey, I'm coming home early. <laughs> Plans did not go as well as we 
God. <laughs> <laughs> I think that was the, the most ridiculous part of the film. Oh, okay. so, yeah. Wait a minute, you, you sign up for a job, you're going to go voluntarily give, let them give you an implant? I think if right. you the face well, of I your think, skull? Yeah. They, they allude to the fact that they're selling them this bill of goods, that they're in a dangerous South American country, yes. and that if they're These out and about, that, as, no, as an American, that they're at risk being yeah. out and about. Yeah. So the, this the is a way for them is, to It's a GPS keep track to keep track of you, of you. yeah. Just yeah. in case something goes wrong. it was also... My my favorite immunization shots and stuff. For well, they had to do that too. It, yeah. But the big thing was like, we need to keep a lock on you just in case something happens. My yeah. favorite, that way we can my find favorite your thing about that movie is for your protection is how obviously the the Belco Corporation was ju- a cover business. Oh no. yeah, like yeah. like when they when they uh, whenever they have them answering phones at the beginning and they say what they do as a corporation, it's like. Finding jobs for mm. Americans in third world countries or yeah, something the, like the whole, that. Their entire business is relocating <laughs> other other companies to South America, so they can inject more people. <laughs> well, no, it wasn't. It wasn't even companies because with that, there's at least a there's at least an economic benefit. Yeah. It was it was employees. It was yeah. workers. It, it yeah. Was, yeah, basically they, they were uh, doing what you used to do. They were headhunters for the company up in Fort Worth. I was a telemarketer. You used to inject people? Oh. Oh, so so you used to inject people, Monica? I did but, inside sales. But the, no, but inside sales, she would actually call companies and it was a legitimate business. Yeah. It was not what you're making it out to yeah. sound like. Wow, Monica. Yeah. We uh, hired I'm recruiters. For <laughs> <laughs> we hired recruiters but for cor- IT systems. Correct me if I'm wrong. In Belco Experiment, they, they whenever they first announced it, it makes it sound like it's a non-profit. Yeah, yeah. 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 they say it's a non-profit. Yeah. They say it's a non-profit. <laughs> they do. Okay. So like, it, it, like it's, it's like one make, of those Monica? things. No, it's like one of those things. Like you have a brand new job, don't question it. Yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah. yeah. No. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Right. okay. So, Paul. Yes. Yours. Paul. Uh, movie or game? Doesn't matter. Whatever. Okay. Give us whatever. Yes. Well, you can't yeah, do game TV. because she already gave it. Oh yes. I I did see some good TV. What? Good, okay. t- good horror TV what? in the past year. What? Um. I'm usually nothing against the sci-fi channel. In mm. general, I'm not a huge fan of the the content they produce. What the like, hell? The, it's good. It's so, not. So, but so so it's good. Dude, it's hokey. It's so good, it but it's hokey. good. But Face off. When's Speaking the, of which, I'm actually like Neo Five. Though. <laughs> when's the last time you actually wanted to ever buy a sci-fi channel show on disc? Like Face I want to watch <laughs> this. <for laughs> like right. I want to watch this again. Right. Face yeah. off. Um, yeah. Other than that, oh, okay. if you have, that's the only one. If if you like ambiguous horror, like. I don't understand what the hell's going on. This is surrealist. What is going on? Uh-huh. Type thing. Channel Zero seasons one and two. Oh yes, really, I liked one. Really good. Yes. Okay. Is, I is seen two that yet. the one you were watching with the teeth monster? That yeah. was so fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> I, I came in and he's once like, again, you gotta, surrealist horror. He's like, you gotta watch this. You gotta it's watch great. this with me. It's really good. And I'm sitting here and I'm watching it and I'm trying to get into it and I'm trying to keep an open mind and about. 15 minutes into it he's like he goes do you get it do you like it I was like no this yeah. is fucked up even for what, me I'm what, not unnerving as well, hell here, here, here's the thing like I have a feeling that you and Katie both got, he got equally far in the first season cause she only watched the first two episodes Oh, it gets way better. Oh, I have no it, idea what episode he was fan. on. <laughs> as a matter of fact, for Halloween, I was considering coming as the the Skull Captain, the Captain with the those. Uh-huh. Yeah. 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 So between yeah, yeah. that, between that and oh, uh, Ash that. versus Evil Dead, I will take every opportunity to to talk about. I that. I did get into that one. Yeah, I like that like, one see, a lot. Uh, well, season one's great. Season, season two is better. Like I didn't know, I didn't know going into season two if it even warranted a second season. Okay, so they took season all two the reservations is... and just flushed. Okay, so here's right. the thing about Ash versus the Evil Dead. It our 14 year old came to me and she's all like, "I want to watch it," and I'm going. I... She then yes. became she then became the deer head on the wall. <laughs> 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 I'm just like <laughs> yeah, it, yeah. It is. I I gotta give credit. I mean, Sam Raimi like is lead line creator on that show, so he mm-hmm. went he went I would from hope so. huh? I would hope so. Yeah, but 
if you think about what stuff he's done in the years since, he was he went to for love of the game, yeah, and uh, the, the Disney's he's Wizard of Oz. He's kind of bounced around. It's like, yeah. oh, all of a sudden he's doing kids movies. Wait, he must have. Yeah, but, but, but then he did Drag Me to Hell, right. which wasn't really well received. No. You know what? Mm-hmm. It's a shame it wasn't because it actually was quite funny and quite it, good. I liked it, yeah. I, and. Honestly, on I love the Gypsy Woman. I'm I think sorry. that was one of the first horror movies that Paul showed me. Was it? Yeah, and I had only seen like one or two prior to that. <laughs> so, <laughs> what, he, he just wanted something that I would be entertained by. Yeah, <laughs> and I and course. I thought and I was like, you're not gonna. This one's not gonna unnerve you and creep you out. Basically, what he was doing was really like, easy. if I show her this, <laughs> I'll still have a shot at being her husband. <laughs> if I dive too deep, then I'm screwed. Oh no! <laughs> we started with that and we went way past real quick. So. <laughs> uh, yeah, but uh, yeah. If you have any love for uh, Ash uh, for ass, this is not a show. Oh my god. <laughs> Well, if you have any love for the Evil Dead One, Two, or Army of Darkness, they're all hit on. When you once you get to season two, you know I've always wondered how Evil Dead One and Two fit together because they're like they're they're like half remake, half sequel. This show says, "Yeah, yeah, screw you." It all happened. (laughs) 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 All of it, it. and like, because finally, like halfway through season two, they make a reference to the medieval era. I'm like. Okay, so it's just it all of it, all yeah, of it. This is a day. direct sequel to everything. <laughs> yep. And I loved, I loved. At first, I was so I was kind of rolling my eyes because at the beginning of season two, they get into ashy slashy. <laughs> I'm like, what is that? And then it's like what his hometown calls him. And if you stop and think about it, no one's going to accept that there were demons. Right? No, he, he went to a his, cabin and killed his, his friends. Girlfriend. Yeah. Oh, so like it like hits on all this weird guilt drama from from the fact that everybody like regards him as a murderer. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, I have to say one of the, my favorite TV horror movies or horror shows this year has been Midnight Texas. <gasps> oh yes, I absolutely loved the that series. I thought that I was a great it. series. <gasps> it's amazing. Oh, you it's need good. to watch it. I can't even so watch the show. Angels and demons and so, angels and demons and, angels and, demons and probably okay. vampires. Oh, oh, vampires and, and werewolves. Oh, werewolves. Yes. Were tigers and all kinds. Of I'll, I'll give you a spoiler. Angels the werewolf. And demons, oh my. <laughs> I, I'll give you a spoiler. The werewolf is the priest. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He's not I could see that. He's a tiger. He's a weird tiger. He's a tiger. I'm willing to give. I'm willing to give a Charlene Harris property at the uh, time of day again. I liked True Blood. It just kind of fizzled out towards the end. No, no, no. And, and True liked, Blood went off the fucking deep end. I liked end. True Blood from that. the beginning. I liked it at the beginning. Yes. It got a little too off for me towards Way the end. I couldn't yeah. watch it. I couldn't. I couldn't. Whatever, it. Whatever. They said fairy, and I was done. So yeah, that was uh, yeah. about the time when they were like, "Oh yeah, the reason vampires love you is because you have fairy blood in you." And I was like, "Done." Nope. Yeah, that's about got, the time I got watching. I got through more on that, nope. but it like. It got to a point where the only, re- whenever it's a show built around relationships, it got to the point that the only relationship I cared about was Lafayette and his yes. boyfriend. Yes. Yes. And then they killed his boyfriend. Okay. And then they killed Wait. his boyfriend off, and I'm like, I'm eh. done. my favorite vampire <laughs> was Pamela. <laughs> Which one's that? The, one? the blonde. The blonde. Girl. Yeah, the one that always dressed the one that always, yeah. And everybody's like, she goes, maybe it's because I work too much pink. Maybe it's because I smile too much, but don't assume that just because I do that, I won't rip your throat out and get blood on yeah. my nice new shoes. Yeah, you know? it's, and it's, I love that. It's, Eric, she's just, it was Eric's uh, pit she's, bull. Yeah, yeah, pretty much the pit bull. And mm-hmm. I loved her character from the get-go. There were a lot of really good characters in that. But, but Suki, okay, we're, I'm we're, sorry. We're off, we're, off we're off the rails. We're off the rails. we got to get back on. Yep, back on. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so, so Heather, what was yours? Um, my favorite movie this was Annabelle Creation and there were reasons behind it it was not just that the movie was great because it was it was it, it was, was really, it was really good much I liked original. it a whole lot better than the original I mean I liked the original don't get me wrong but this one was so much better and it was so much creepier and one of those creep factors is that me and my kiddos went and saw it right in the middle of the solar eclipse which I don't know about you guys but everything felt so off and weird. Oh, absolutely. And so oh, then we go yeah. see we this. Not seeing it. Yes. Like, it, it like if you're just weird. outside, you're just it just feels something's just 
feels off you know you don't feel normal yeah. well then we went and we saw this super scary movie and my kids were freaking out and it was I just enjoyed it a lot so we need to bring over big life size Raggedy Ann <laughs> um, well no because she's not a Raggedy Ann in the films no Either she's one not of them. although no, but you they know do what? give they tribute do, to it yes but they, 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 do, the they, do, it. they do pay, pay tribute to it but she, in those movies she's not oh. a Raggedy Ann yeah, right. but you know what? They do sell the act, the a, re- a replica of the doll. Yes, I know. I don't want one. So bad. I do not. <laughs> I do too. Do, I know. I said I do not want I one. I do. <laughs> <laughs> and big, uh, big shout out on within that movie to uh, the actress who was in that and Origin or uh, oh, Ouija yes, Origin. Yes, 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 yes. That, yes. that little actress. girl can act. Yes. Oh yes. She was great in both. <laughs> yes. <laughs> she did very so, well. So, what was your favorite scene in there? In creation, mm. why is my husband yelling? I what is he yelling? Something I don't about even don't know. break it. Don't break it. Oh, it's ping pong okay. related. <laughs> okay, <laughs> yes. So, what about you guys? Um, what? I'm trying to think of my favorite Annabelle creation. What was my your favorite? Favorite? <gasps> I haven't seen it either. I have it. Okay, so what I, was we, yours? I got it for Christmas, so what I'll let you borrow it. My favorite scene from it. Uh. I've only seen it the once. I, I I enjoyed it all the way through. I'm trying to remember the, like what was a specific moment though. Did you watch it with Joe? I did. Okay. I wasn't drunk though. <laughs> yeah, like was. <laughs> That's why you can't remember. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I have to say one scene, and it's this, and we all did this as kids, and sometimes we even do it as grownups. Not me, but the scene where she's in the bed and it's on the top bunk bed and she's hiding underneath the covers because she can see up through the crack between the bunk beds and she sees it up above her and she won't get out of bed because she's scared to death so she's pulling the covers over her face and she just hides there all night long and you see this thing on top of the bed and you're like oh my god it's gonna get her it's gonna get her and it never does and the next morning she wakes up and it's gone and so I think it, I loved that scene because it was like, oh my god, that is every kid, that is almost mm-hmm. every adult when they see a bad movie. Yeah. I, 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 did, I did figure out which one I liked the most. Which one? It was the one where the girl, the, the possessed one, is in the room with a nun and she like lifts her up off the ground and is like choking the nun in the yeah. air. I really liked that part. Yeah. Death grip. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because it was like Jedi mind power school. Right. I, will, he was the I will say, I, I remember, I remember what made my jaw drop is whenever that girl got in, whenever the girl got injured, like because she goes flying off the, oh, off yeah. the stairs. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. That's right. Like, yeah. Whoa. Yeah. 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 That's pretty good. But I mean, if you watch if you watch a movie during a solar eclipse, it needs to be a horror movie because oh, yeah. it just makes everything feel off, and you like mm-hmm. you. And those kinds of movies normally don't, they don't scare me. The ones that get me are the ones you can't see what it is. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And at least in Annabelle, you know it's a doll, you know, and, you know, it was a clown. And so I I don't like things that I can't see that are not tangible. And so, like, like the paranormal activities, they don't scare me, but I don't want to watch them. Yeah. I mean, one, they're terribly made. Sorry if anybody likes those. I can't do the (coughs) shaky camera first. Mm -hmm. No. But. Apparently, neither can Devil Dog. Okay, De- Devil Dog's goodness. over there just, you know, letting us know. He's with me. Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, so. But what I thought was funny is uh, my youngest, 14, she watched it the other night. Uh-huh. And uh, it got to that scene you were talking about with the, uh, she hides up in the top bunk. Mm-hmm. Just about that time, our middle child walks in and looks at her and goes, oh, yeah, you've got a bunk bed in your room. It gets even better. So here's the reverse of that. I get a phone call from her the other day saying, Mom, there's a noise outside my room and I have to go pee and it's moving around. And then I'm like, she's like, can you come home? And I'm like, no, I'm at work right now. And she goes, but the dog, I just, it's, it's asleep and it won't, you know, there's noise. Mom, please come home. And I'm like, have you been watching scary movies? She's like, yes, but please come home. There's something outside my door. And I'm like, just throw the dog at it. <laughs> the dog, <laughs> throw the dog, dog at it. She's all like, she goes, 
He's asleep and he's useless. All he'll do is lick it and play with it. <laughs> Aww, just like most men. I know, right? That was so going to go there. I'm Sorry. Glad you <laughs> so glad it was you, not me. Oh. <laughs> but, it, you know, it was kind of funny in that aspect. So, <laughs> Yeah, right now Heather is posting a video uh, to yeah. the Fear Central Facebook page of uh, their... Mike and Chris's middle daughter, Krista. Um, um, yes, me and Tim were. My demon. Yes. Yeah. They, uh, Heather and Tim were playing a cruel well, we joke were, on we were her. watching The Conjuring at that time. Yes, we yes. were. And uh, they came up behind her with this little creepy little rag doll <laughs> looking thing. Doll. It was it's a little porcelain, porcelain doll. doll. Yeah. And uh, she just about wet her pants. Like, she <laughs> jumped and screamed, and it was great. So if you have a chance, go to our Facebook page yep. and uh, check and out Fear Central. we have a Kickstarter, you know, GoFund page that, you know, you can also donate to Patreon. Her therapy page. Because <laughs> <laughs> all our children will desperately need it when they grow up. <laughs> okay. Well, two films that I really enjoyed over this past year, other than ones that have already been uh, talked about, uh, I really enjoyed Rings. Oh, yes. Me I too. didn't get to see that one either. It's on our voodoo. You yeah, it's watch on voodoo. It. Oh. I don't think I watched it, did I? No, man, Maybe I, I did. The one uh, based off Ring. I thought, right. we, watched Ring. I thought we watched it here. I think we did watch it. Did we watch it here? I think Do you we watched watch it here. here? I didn't watch it. I, I don't think watch, they were here. I don't remember. But uh, I really enjoyed it. It, I was, did too. it was a good take on it because I was, when the trailers came out, I was like, "Wait, it's a videotape. Nobody has a videotape anymore, mm-hmm. right? You know, we don't have VCRs anymore. Yeah. How does this thing get around? Right? And then they showed it on every screen on the airplane. I was like, "That's brilliant! Yeah, right. I love that. Yeah, it was a very clever take on yeah. the, on an older concept. Yeah, exactly. So um, I actually had that pre ordered before it released on yep. VOD. Yes, Just did. because I had a coupon. Right. <laughs> Denofrio's in that, right? Yes. Huh? Denofrio's yes. in that, right? Yeah. He is, yes. yes. He plays yeah. the priest. Yeah, it was really good. I enjoyed that one. Uh, the other one, uh, which was a surprise and a fresh take on, on things, is Get Out. Yes. Yes. Good. Yeah, there's a lot of... There's a lot of award show buzz around that. I mean, it got. Is it the fact that it got put into the comedy category of the Globe and Globes? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, Jordan Peele, for those who don't know, Jordan Peele of Key and Peele is the writer and director on that. He, you know, he kind of like. He's kind of come out sort of like arching an eyebrow yeah. of the fact that it got billed as a comedy. But at the same time. <sighs> It's got a lot of comedy in it. He is it does. a comedian by trade. But well, especially the, the police was, office scene. It, but here's the thing. I checked whenever yeah, I satire, went to it can be creepy, dramatic, and funny all at once. Yeah. And that movie really is all oh, those yeah. things. And, and it was a fresh take on the, the basically the mad scientist yes. kind of kind of thing going on. Um, but they're, they're, they probably threw it in comedy because of the his best friend. Yes. But yeah. Especially during the scene where he's at the police department and trying be, to explain to him. That would be too, right here. Yeah, that would be you too? <laughs> yeah. I'd, Monica I'd be would be the like, one going, she'd be I told the, you not to go in the No, house. she'd be the one go. I'd be the one calling, I told you not to go over well, there. Even, even if it's nervous laughter, that movie can make you laugh the entire time. Yes. yes. Oh, yeah. yeah. Because like everything, you know, every all the cringiness of like, you know, African American guy going to the white family in the Hamptons. It's and awkward as hell. They're just oh like, my gosh. you know, if I could have voted for Obama for a third term, I would have done it. <laughs> And he just like awkward stare. Okay. okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think what was even I, I, I think the real cringy what the hell was when they finally got him locked up downstairs. And they look at the wall and there's like a deer head and like an old school on the floor console TV and it's like, what the hell? My yeah. like my favorite minor moment because like I all the all the <coughs> performances in that movie are great. But the most chilling performance for me in that entire thing is Stephen Root, uh, Jimmy James for News Radio and all that. Is he like, the one that plays the blind guy? Yes, yes. Yeah. Because like he's yes. the only person that's believable and down to earth and yeah. everything, yes. and his motives are completely different than everybody else. Yes. Yeah. But he's just like, yeah, really, I don't care. I don't I mean, care. It was a great conversation that they had there at that side area of the party. Yeah. Where he's just like, you're a photographer, I like your work. He goes, but you're blind. He's like. Been told you. I mean, like it's been told to me is like you got you got a good eye. I yeah, mean, yeah. I, that I been never a had hint, that hint right there. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. But. So uh, that's right. when I knew what was. Yeah. What's do we, do we want to do we want to spoil uh, that? I mean, that's a great movie. I don't, don't know if you want to spoil, spoil it. I will, I, I will. We always do. I will say my uh, 
I will say Katie was totally unsurprised by that movie. I wasn't. I wasn't surprised by it either because Mike was like, "What did you think? Where, when did you figure?" And I was, I told him because you yeah. know it, yeah. it was yeah. one of those that I you just. It, I figured it out really early, and then it was just really unpredictable for, or predictable from that point on. It still, it still benefits from a rewatch, and it is entertaining on a second yes. on a second watch because even if you because when you know what's going on, the like the the dark humor of the whole movie mm-hmm. it really like pops at you yeah, like, yeah, it's just, good. <laughs> yeah. see I I knew it was going to be somewhat like Sixth Sense where you have this whole twist of things that were going on I just couldn't put my finger on it um, until after they had the uh, session about talking about his childhood and whatever mm-hmm. so I was like okay so this is going to be more psychological and then something's going to happen at the end and then I can't remember exactly what point it was, and then it was like, oh, wait. Yeah. And I think it was during the party where I was like, yeah. oh, wait. There, there's a great video on YouTube, by the way, uh, for fans of that movie. It's uh, Jordan Peele responding to fan theories about uh, the movie. Uh-huh. It is good. Like, it's <laughs> it's great because, like, you know, it's like it basically he's just sitting there reading through them, and he's just like, he's like, Wow, it's like that. I literally love that. Yes, that's exactly what I meant whenever I did that. <laughs> yes, that was my motivation. That was my motivation. <laughs> oh wait, no, that one's better. <laughs> did, did he did he pull his uh, um, Urkel? I meant to do that. <laughs> All right, so Tim, what was your favorite? My favorite horror of the year. Yep. Would have to be it. But since we already talked about that one, I I really like the uh, new American Horror Story cult. Do you? I actually okay. like that. Uh, I watched the first episode. That's about uh, it. I've seen I've seen about halfway through. I haven't Have finished. You? Okay. Yeah. Do they continue so on like they did in the first episode, where it was just all political this, all right. political well, that? For frame of, no, for frame it really no. didn't stay okay. political. Of, I mean, for frame of reference, what other seasons of American Horror Story have you liked? Like, what are your other favorites? I liked all of them, but I've seen all. Oh. Of them. But what's your oh, very cow. favorite? And better yet, how would you rank them? (laughs) Like, in order from top to bottom, like, how would you rank them? Oh, gosh. Uh, The (laughs) hotel one would be the very bottom. Really? Oh, I hated that one. one? The The one with the hotel. And then then just above that would be Roanoke. Yeah. I didn't watch any of that one yet. Then it would be hotel. Then it would be um, the very... First one. We are, and then we are all. We are weird. way off. Everybody is like different. Because see, I I liked my preference um, would be asylum, asylum first. Yep. First yep. One. Murder house. Mm-hmm. And then um, Freak, Freak, Freak Show. show. And, then, and then. Oh, I forgot about Freak Show. Freak Show would and be the, the, rest third, of my, the cult, and then Roanoke, and then Hotel at the last. What about yeah. Coven? Okay. Coven isn't even on the list. <laughs> <laughs> Be there. They use Stevie Nicks. So no, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't. It's not even one. on my list. I, I loved that Kevin. one. I couldn't. Oh, no. I, I tried. I tried so hard. I, I tried okay, so, so hard. I'm gonna be a evil. She's like, getting passionate over here. Oh, oh my goodness! She's, she's so like, flying. Hey, she's she's in everything. everything. This she okay, yelled at me after she go watch binge watch coming. <laughs> senior year, Kate. Oh goodness. <laughs> Was a very angry person. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, and I revisit that person whenever I think that okay. Emma Roberts exists. But you have to think of, <laughs> you have to think of, uh, uh, of Coven as the mean girls of the so super the Millers, basically. Katie? She was supposed to be like the, <laughs> the like the bad bitch though, and I don't like what? bad bitches. So. <laughs> Why are you hanging out with the three of us? Then? You're so, nice people. So, so, <laughs> we're nice bitches. It's, it's, it's and fair, we're not bad it's bitches. Fair to say that we bitches. haven't watched Scream Queens. Uh, <laughs> no. I, I did watch no. it. I haven't seen it. I did. Oh, I, I, I start Queens. having dreams of murdering people whenever I see Katie. Okay, okay. See, whenever you, you, I haven't wait, seen it. Time out. Whenever you start having those dreams, you need to freaking text my ass <laughs> and say, "Hey, Chris, I have a new kill for you." <laughs> Let's go kill him. <laughs> I mean, like, I'm down. <laughs> we'll just start checking people uh, off your one list. One thing that we haven't really mentioned is Stranger Things, and that was. <gasps> Yes. Actually, a really great. Um, oh yeah, uh, season, season one was a lot better than uh, season two. Though. Do you think so? Yes. Oh yeah, I but, did like I don't know, season I really one better. Like season two. But I liked season two. It it went into more in yeah, depth I mean, about it. It, it, it was it more eleven, a, more background into eleven and the upside down. Yes, yes. 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 And one was Paul Reiser. I mean, come on. And I left me well, a yeah. <laughs> To to be fair, huh? we're on we're on a horror podcast. 
This this season was a lot less horror. Yes, yes. Right. 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 And yeah, this was but... this was a lot more character moments mm-hmm. and drama. Which, yes, which isn't bad. No, like, I, I need no. to get, I need Hopper to get me was, a Hopper was a like a Hop, Yeah, Hopper was a delight, and uh, Sean Astin was. Oh, very oh, oh, oh Bob. 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 so great! Love Bob. Bob. <laughs> Hashtag love Bob. <laughs> I did like Paul no, Weiser's character be too because he was more. He, he was. You expected him to be so. You evil. expected him to be right? closer to. Yeah. Um, Matthew Modine. Matthew Modine's yeah, character. Yeah, but he was But he not. comes in. He's like, no, no, no. We're, we're not. No, we're not I'm like that. I'm your friend. We're, he's yeah. like, I'm you mad about you, baby. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> Some weird creep guy. Well, not, you thought he was going to be the uh, was, corporate guy in Aliens, he was, right? Yeah, yes. well, that's, that's yes. what I was about to say. That's the reason he's in Stranger Things is because his a role in the Aliens yeah. franchise. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah. I, I, it was, I, I've never seen two teenagers, let alone the adults, that were so excited about a series comes in, coming out. And I think my girls binge watched that thing. Um, yeah, I binge watched the first and season then, and the second season and, in one yes. setting. And then oh, they did I'm Beyond sure. Stranger Things and they just fell in love with the characters yes. even more so. Mm-hmm. And then, like, Mike, you got... Oh yeah, everybody was mad at me because I started been watching, been watching it first. Yeah, I was home. But, yeah, you were <laughs> home. We were not. I really want to know because this is a character show. But like, his... who's our favorite characters? Oh, Dustin. Dustin. Bob. Absolutely, Dustin. <laughs> Bob and Dustin. So I like Dustin and Dacre Montgomery's character. The okay, now as far as actors, who's your favorite actor in the show? Dacre Montgomery. Really? Because yeah. he's hot. The guy that plays who? I know that too, but like. Sir I thought Jackson. I thought you liked. Who does uh, he play? I thought you liked Wolfgard. The one that plays Mike? Oh, yeah. I was like, who? She likes the one that, that's the, the boyfriend that gets dumped for the brother, right? Steve Harrington. That's Steve Harrington. his name. Yep. Okay. So, yeah. So, so, since we're on hit topic of him, hot. favorite thing in that entire season, I was so... Damn surprised. The Dustin Harrison Dustin and Steve, Steve together. Yes. Yes. Oh, Dustin that is like Steve. the that best thing amazing. that happened in that entire yes. season. Yes. <laughs> I love that. I love that. I love the team bash up against the brother, yeah. and I just uh, I was like, yes. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna throw this one out there because there were a lot of terrible ones that we watched because we watched lots of terrible ones. Yeah. Yes. But I have to say that if I had to sit through a terrible movie after getting it. A very big shot of narcotics for a migraine. <laughs> I wouldn't have wanted to spend it anywhere else with Mike watching A Cure for Wellness. I will tell you right now, that made my headache seem so much worse, and that day stretched out like 12 hours longer than it should have. It was the worst movie I have seen in a while. And I will tell you, it's beautifully done. Oh, beautifully shot. Beautiful shots. Beautiful Beautiful score. music. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's, it's a gorgeous film. You just needed about three quarters of it chunked in the trash. Our, a little, from the beginning, a few parts in the middle, and the end. And that's all you need. Yeah. And it would have been fantastic. I, Sounds I, like Inception. Sucked. <laughs> it was so long, we wow. went through. What? <laughs> I like uh, Inception. <laughs> I'm sorry, Inception sucked. Uh, suck. Oh. Sucked. Uh, um, suck. I like Inception. Suck. 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 In- Inception. Inception is a movie that I sort of dislike because of the fan base. Oh, thank you. Yeah. No, it, <laughs> this is well, careful. Well, this was this so top long. Would still spin. It wow. was. It was. <laughs> it was so long. The movie was so long. We went through an entire bag of Fritos Honey Twists. Yes, we did. Um, an entire bag. bag of Twizzlers, right? Twizzlers. Yep. And something else. We went through, I was like, pot. We're like, we're like, we're like <laughs> let's get something else. Let's get something else to munch on. Okay. We're like, we ate all that. The movie's still not over. Damn. <laughs> it really was. You it really was. Heads. And the worst part, well, I mean, I was medicated. Doctor medicated. Thank you. I had to go get a shot. Um, Is that yeah. what the kids are calling him now? Well, you can, you can ask Mona. She, she has to get the shots too. It, it it, it makes everything seem so much longer, but this movie felt like it was 74 days long. Oh, we had snow lying. cones. We had snow oh, cones we first. Have snow cones Big first. snow cones. That's right. I forgot. We had we... snow cones, and then Honey Twist, and then Twizzlers. Or... All right. <laughs> I don't know. All right, so 
Well, let's see if you've seen this movie. Okay. Have you ever watched Drive? <gasps> no. Yes. yes. I think, I think so. I've seen yes. that one. Yes. With, with Ryan Gosling? Yes. Because, like, the the complaints you have against Cure for Wellness uh-huh. are always against Drive, and Drive is, like, one of my favorite movies. I have not seen it, but maybe I will. There are parts of it that... Need to just be taken <laughs> out. See, everybody out says car. everybody says it's pretty and it drags. Yes. Like wow. that's that's what it's well, what yeah, okay, so, amazing in it. And he okay, never talks. So, never, so, that's the people the the, the people that hate it hate say, why doesn't he ever talk? It's <laughs> okay, so, <laughs> so in, in a cure for wellness, okay. There's one scene that they show four different times exact same scene he's in the bedroom hit the back of his toilet starts the lid starts kind of wimping. he goes over and he jiggles the handle and he walks away he does that three times before he goes over and takes the lid off to see that there's eels in his toilet you could have done it one time uh-huh. yeah. one there time were- and that was like 30 minutes worth of movie right there yeah, it, it, it was. It was. They it, had to pay for the damn toilet. As, as, Gina Heller said, "Run at Home Depot." Jesus. As they a filmmaker myself, part a thousand times. Yeah, as a filmmaker myself, there were points in the film where I was like, "Okay," and that scene should end there. Why are we still going? <laughs> yeah. Why oh, yeah. are we going? F- I know but it's beautiful. It was like he just decided he got into the scenery. We're a- just going to keep the camera tracking for another right. five right. minutes. Or, 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 or they got into the edit room and he's like, "Oh, yep, you know what? No, I like that. No, would I like you, just would, leave it all, and they can yeah. just watch it all. all right. would, everything. Yeah, that's the fell asleep. And there you go. <laughs> would you playing devil's advocate though? Would you Keanu Reeves? Would you, <laughs> <laughs> that was a good movie? No, 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 no. no. What I what? Would you be? Would you say it's fair that the movie is trying to go hypnotic on you? Most of it, yes. yeah. You well, but you, it, say, it you say you say repetition. You say scenes that carry on whatever you you yes. expected and yes. expected them to end. But but the thing is, is it was not in a good way. No, you know, there's some movies that just suck you in, and you're like, oh my gosh, I love this. I'm gonna watch this all the way through, and I'm not taking my eyes off of this. Yeah, I and then you have those so bad, movies. I can't go anywhere because I don't want to see anything. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. This was one of those movies where you're like, why am I seeing this over again? Hey, shut why up. am I seeing this over again? I'm trying to. Think. Why I, mean, am I, seeing I, this I understand over that again? they were trying to get into our head, I'm trying but to it was it movies. was just so it was a, it was like. Uh, I'm trying to think of a good analogy that would make, make sense. Slamming your head against the wall a would, few times. No, it's no. like you're going to do something. Results. It's like sitting on a stationary bike expecting to go 10 miles. <laughs> All right. In tone, Here. Would, you, would you say it's close to the ninth gate with Johnny Depp? Oh, oh my God. Maybe? maybe. Really? That's a great movie. That was a good I, movie, I though. Movie. Yeah, but think about it. There were Not a whole scenes. lot happens in that movie, <laughs> and it ends real symbolic. Yeah. Like you get to the end, you get to the end, and if you're like not someone that likes art in your films or symbolism, you go, "What?" <laughs> Think of it like this: um, you're writing a grocery list, okay? Now instead of taking your pen off so you can think about what else do I need, you just leave the pen on. You keep drawing a line until you come up with that next word. Oh yeah, noodles. Milk. <laughs> Milk. And that's how the that's, scene seemed. They did. It seemed very stretched and just overly... Like really okay. It was It was just overly explanatory. It, it was like lots. he got producer's notes and went, mm, no. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It really was. And, so. and that, was, that was one. Now, there was a few others that we watched that Paul had brought up. Rupture. 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 That was my yeah. pick, and I, it was a very bad pick. So one of our, one of my friends who listens to the podcast was listening to li- was listening to us try and say some positive things about it, uh-huh. and he's just like, "Man, he's like, I, he's like, y- y'all, re- he's like, lol, y'all really didn't like this." And then like about twenty minutes in the text messages, uh, like after I, he had sent a couple of text messages, I'm watching Rupture right now, and I'm like. What did did you like pay to watch it? He's <laughs> like, man, this movie's terrible. <laughs> I was just like, we tried yeah. to warn you. <laughs> what we We're here for you, people. <laughs> we so you don't to have to you. experience this stuff. Yes. <laughs> we tried to 
trying to help you save some brain cells, but do you listen? He's like, he, he, like apparently he was like, he's like, you made it sound so awful. I just like, I, I just had to see it for myself. I'm like, is that a shark? No. Yeah. <laughs> were we yeah. wrong? <laughs> we were not. Wrong. I was just like, did he, this didn't he do the, the same thing with the other one? Well, this is the only time. This was the only time he was, he was like sitting there, like whenever he's sitting there texting me. This is the only time I've ever done this. I was like. Damn it! If you're gonna watch a terrible movie, go watch Bye Bye Man. At least that's weird. Say, right? <laughs> that was another one that it's, it's, like, like, it's like that one's exactly. at least entertaining in a bad way. Oh, yeah. well, <laughs> and that could, that one could have been really good too. It could have been. It's like these people they like. Decide, Opening was amazing. Yes, Lee, like all that first scene with Lee Winnell. Mm-hmm. I was like, I was like, oh, Lee Winnell. Look, like, uh, you, I had knew nothing about it, and they, y'all put it on immediately when I get here, and I'm like, oh, well, Lee Winnell's in it. Oh, it's from the '60s, and they like that was really good, and then the whole movie started. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yeah. it, 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 it yeah. was very reminiscent of the Babadook for me. I like Babadook. I didn't. I have not seen Babadook. No, it was really Babadook. slow. I it was get so into it. freaking slow. Well, and, and I don't it have a problem with slow so movies. I don't. That. I have a I have a problem with movies that are like seventeen hours long and slow. Yes, the Cure for Wellness was like driving behind a grandma. Cure for Wellness is two and a half hours. For those who don't know, it felt like seventy two days. It did. <laughs> it's, like, it's, like, it's like, come on, grandma. Horses are faster than I was, I was about to say, y'all aren't talking about Baba Duke because Baba Duke's like 88 minutes. No, that was minutes. Cure, a cure for him. No, that was cure uh, okay, I'm sorry, but Baba Duke sucked and it was so long. It, it, just, <laughs> it felt long. It, it felt like hours. There are certain movies that do that. I mean, so like, okay, maybe she needs to be Australian Psychotic. to figure that one out. Done it over with. And then there are certain movies that are like two and a half to three hours long. And you're like, wait, like what the hell? Yeah. 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 Alien was that. Really Alien was a Alien. long movie. Alien was But long. it was just like, it, it's over? Yeah. Wait, what? what do you mean it's three hours? <laughs> yeah. yeah. I don't remember the exact length, but... It's pretty long. What are, what are we talking about? Alien <laughs> Covenant. Alien Covenant. It wasn't that long. It was a was very it? long It was movie. two hours... Fifth, like two hours ten? If it what breaks it? two hours, it's long. Yeah. Sure <laughs> Today? That is my rule. <laughs> Today? Yes. Most of... I mean, even uh, Lights Out was 70... No, 82 minutes. 81 minutes? Honestly, honestly, I think the 90 to 100 minute mark is perfect. Because like we talk about two movies we want two, two, we talk about movies we want to collect and rewatch. They're that length. We rarely watch movies that go over two hours more than mm-hmm. like like. like then you should not own Alien Covenant because right. it's two hours and two minutes. <laughs> yeah. No, no, <laughs> to cut the credits out. Ever it's under two movie, hours. I'm only supposed to give you the mark of when the kill happens and when it doesn't, and then be done with it, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. At least you'll watch the movie for the kill. <laughs> so there we go. That's what we thought about 2017. Some some good ones. There there were some good ones, and there were some bad ones, and there were some that were just kind of meh. Making a statement on the industry, uh, whenever we were looking through this list, we we were noticing there wasn't, like, uh, 2017 wasn't a big year for horror in numbers, Mm -hmm. but it was a big year for horror in the industry. Yes. Yes. Because, you know, say, well, it. And get out. It went, it charted. It, uh, internationally and domestically yes. on like the top 10 list mm-hmm. for a long time. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then uh, Blumhouse, was up there Blumhouse too. everything they did this year, Happy Death Day, like was... Blumhouse had know. had the magic touch this year. Yeah. Like, yeah. Passing. Well, I mean, he really did. I didn't it know that Get Out was there until yeah. recently. He I was just, like, oh, yeah. okay. Um, <laughs> Man. I guess one we, we could have touched on that we, we saw... Um, as a Office. production company trying to re envision themselves back into the genre, was uh, the Mummy, <laughs> Universal's the Mummy. <laughs> okay. Oh. okay, so I didn't, I didn't hate the Mummy. I didn't hate the Mummy. I can't stop laughing at the bad damn movie. <laughs> wow! <laughs> I think I think we touched a nerve with her. I, I think it would have been much better. If it had not been Tom Cruise <laughs> yes. the mummy. But mm. unlike the Brandon Fraser I like mummies, this one. Um, it, where those I stories did. were based on the, those characters I, and not the mummy, this one was actually based on the mummy, the mummy. and not right. who was... Here's, here's the... So is it based around the same type storyline? No. No. So this is the weird... That is, this is the weirdest thing. Every time someone brings up that movie... No mummy? <laughs> They're always like, 
Is it anything like the Brendan Fraser no, original? No. Motherfucker, who's <laughs> Boris Karloff? Why does it get excited All that right. easily? <laughs> they didn't get good ratings, though. It did. Rotten Tomatoes only gave a 16. I liked it. I mean, it but was... Rotten Tomatoes getting a lot of stuff. I we have yet to watch it. We probably will watch it at some point. Things. But I gotta be I gotta be honest. The thing that killed it for me was whenever it when it, like after it came out, I heard this is about the the universe the universal dark cinema universe. Yeah. What 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 is that? And it was like, oh, and uh, Gladiator plays Doctor Jekyll in it. What? <laughs> that they should make. That's why I keep laughing about this damn film. So okay, I can't take it seriously. I can't even take it in the franchise. And everybody's all like, "Oh, it's one of the dark universals," and I'm like. <laughs> yeah, well, it's, 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 it's Universal trying to bring their glory days back from yes, the monsters. 20s and 30s. And they're trying to bring yeah. their monsters back. Yeah. My Which, biggest issue is they don't do their research. Uh, no, you think? <laughs> like, okay, first of all, in Egypt. Because this is my... This not is my come on, can you I give it to them? They're not when I was a kid, I read every book that our library and the library in, libraries in Wise County and in Ardmore and my school library had on Egypt. I read every it all. Every one of them. Every freaking fr- fr- one. <laughs> Whoa. She almost said it. God, God damn it. Katie nearly lost it. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, it. women <laughs> don't become rulers unless you're hush ups it. They Only go. one. Unless yep. you take a shit. No. What? And they can't model anybody after her there. because she's perfect. Ah. So, if you want me to talk about my heroes, it is that woman. There she's you like, go. Things going on over here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm excited. Those bangs start to It just come really out. bothers me, and I'm going to refuse to watch it on principle because Thank right. you. if they wanted to, like, if they want to do it right, they should read and pick a man. Because <laughs> that's who actually became mummies. There were only known six women that were ever mummified. Yes. So, yeah. An ox in a moon? <laughs> All right. We're going to frib it on out of here. I think she we're going to... I think we're going to... We're gonna frib it on out of here. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna bring this show to an end on that one before Katie kills somebody. <laughs> before she I goes frib like it on somebody. It is so easy to do research now, and I think it is just a shame when people won't take the twenty minutes it takes to find out little things. Katie, that's why they made Google. Katie, yeah, as, I have as, a shovel uh, and an alibi. I'm just saying. <laughs> as they say, as they say in Katie's favorite movie of this past year, it's worth a Google. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that eye roll! That was epic. <laughs> all right, could so you there you have it. Roll all the way out there? What all we really us. thought about 2017. I do eye rolls. <laughs> <laughs> you already said that was your favorite movie of last year. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so before Katie kills someone, um, uh, just do as Monica said earlier. Go, head on over to our Facebook page. Uh, Watch a funny video. Is posted. It is posted. All right, yes, there we go. Um, we also do have a Twitter and Instagram, uh, Tumblr uh, for ways to communicate with us. Find and us on then, Alexa. That's true. If you want to listen to us, you can now listen to us on Alexa. All you have to do is go on to your Amazon account and make sure you have the Spreaker app activated on your Alexa. And then uh, all you do is say, "Alexa, watch for or, uh, play Fair Central Radio." There you go. I don't like a lot. I don't understand Dear Central Radio. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but you can also get us on iTunes, Google Play, and iHeart and Spreaker itself. Uh-huh. Um, am I missing something? Everything. I'm going to remind everybody of this, including myself, because it's been a couple of months. Um, Tumblr. <laughs> <laughs> and, oh, the actual webpage. How about that? Oh, yeah. Fearcentral.net. Yeah, yeah, we have a yeah. webpage. Yeah. So visit us there. Yeah. Fearcentral.net. You can come there and uh, take, a, take a look, see what's going on. Uh, we are probably going to be also making some changes to the website as the year progresses since we are going to be adding so much new fun stuff. So fun we will probably have stuff. some uh, information on the board games we play. Yes. So yes. you can get access to them. I'm, I'm hoping we I We might suck. video it. Yeah, they have some video of it. Don't know. Oh, God. Um, but there you go. <laughs> Can we wear a mask? No. <laughs> can, I yeah. wear, can I wear my Sam mask? No, you get an emotional. No. I have a feeling no, no, no. everybody. I have a feeling everybody would f- get really creeped out if they saw a bunch of drunk people in masks. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. I wore my I wore my little half mask that I wore for Halloween. 
I got my pumpkin mask outside. When did Stanley Kubrick direct an episode of Tabletop? Oh. Uh, but there we go. One camera angle. You hang it from the ceiling. Straight down. So all you see is random arms going. Down. Don't throw a tentacle in there. <laughs> <laughs> so there we go. Uh, we hope y'all had a uh, fun, safe, and fruitful Christmas and New Year. And uh, we we, New we Year. had did. Did pretty good here. Got locked into uh, Heather's house New Year's Eve. Yes, I locked everybody in. No one was uh, lovely. Icy roads. Yes. So um, we will see y'all again next week, and we will take care of uh, maybe our first game next week. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Sounds good to me. All right. Uh, We will see y'all next week, and as always, stay scared. scared.